What's up Dragon Ball Super players, welcome back to Crossworld TCG. My name is Logan and today we have an amazing update for the Mono Red Dr. Mew Baby Deck Profile. But before we jump into what's in the deck, we gotta talk about this new promo baby card coming out here soon. Super Baby 1 Parasitic Men Menace, 5 drop, 5k combo power, 25k base, EX Evolve, red baby card with the energy cost of 4 or more. It's no energy cost, so you can slap this down right on top of your uh, Saiyan Strength Baby after you Union Absorb into him with your 1 drop. Double strike, when a card evolves into this card, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, gets minus 5k for the duration of the turn, and you can't play Super Baby 1 Parasitic Menace for the duration of the turn. So far, pretty solid effect, but we move into the crazier part of his effect, which is activate main for a single red, choose one baby card with an energy cost of 6 from your hand, and play it on top of this card. So what this allows you to do is with this leader, by turn 2, you're able to put down the giant Great 8 baby onto the board and that can be incredibly difficult for your opponent to deal with because every time your opponent tries to do something grade 8 baby will pop a card on your opponent's board so just a fantastic facilitator for the best play that this deck has and it's coming out soon but other than that let's jump into this deck profile starting off with the leader we have dr mew and his effect is activate main choose one machine mutant card battle card from your hand with energy or with 5000 or less power and play it and when you're at four or less life you may draw two cards and awaken this leader and then on the back side he turns into scheming dr mew activate main choose one machine mutant card from your hand uh, with energy with <laughs> power of 10k or less and play it and when this card attacks draw one card so what's really cool about this is it allows you to play this one drop baby vengeance unleashed for free on turn two or turn one uh, and this guy says Union Absorb, choose one battle card and place it under this card. If your leader is a Red Machine Mutant, choose up to one baby with an energy cost of four or less with the same character name as the card you place under this uh, card from your deck and place it on top of this card. So if by turn two you see two baby Vengeance Unleashed, you're able to play one for free with your Dr. Mew, maybe on turn one or turn two, tap another red to play the second copy of it and then use his effect to Union Absorb, so this is still turn 2, so you still have one red energy up, and that'll evolve into Saiyan Strength Baby, uh, and it's when this card is, and Saiyan Strength Baby says, Double Strike, it's a 4 drop, Double Strike, 20k. When you play this card, if your leader is Red Machine Mutant, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, lose 20k, so it'll clear a threat when it hits the board, and then after that, you go, uh, you take the 5 drop that we were talking about earlier, this boy right here, and you slap him down, for free on top of your Saiyan Strength Baby, and from there you pay the one red energy to evolve up into Epochal Grudge Great Ape Baby. Normal is a triple striking uh, 30k 6 drop on turn 2, which is just absolutely absurd. And what's even better about this guy is when this card attacks or your opponent plays a battle card, so during their turn when they play something, if your leader card is Machine Mutant, which our leader is, draw a card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it loses 20k power for the duration of the turn, meaning that anything your opponent plays within the next few turns, if it doesn't have barrier, is basically going to be instantly KO'd, making it very difficult for your opponent to establish any kind of board presence. And from that point on, really, you can just start building up a board with all of your other cards and really go to work. So jumping through the deck, starting back at the beginning, we have two copies of Time Choice Supreme Kai of Time, Overrealm 3. Uh, when you play this card using Overrealm, look at the top three cards of your deck. If you do, choose one battle card from among them, add it to your hand, then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. And why we're playing this card is it basically allows us to search for any of these big pieces that we need to make our big power play for the turn, which is really good. Um, and it's also why it's in here. Uh, next Overrealm card we have is a Scientist Foo, Overrealm 7 for 1 energy. Double Strike, when you play this card, draw 2 cards. Really, this is just an additional finisher for the deck. 1 drop, or <laughs> one drop Double Strikers, man. They're, they're, they're fantastic. Moving on into the baby cards. Uh, the next 3 cards that we have are all playable for free off of our Dr. Mew effect. We have Dr. Mew under baby's control. Uh, 1 drop, 5k, auto. When you play this card, look at the top 3 cards of your deck. Choose one Machine Mutant or other card including Baby among them, add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So basically this is what searches out the entirety of your deck. Almost every card in this deck is a Machine Mutant and most importantly it searches for the 1 drop, the 5 drop, and the Apocal Ape Great Baby. So this helps us, like the Times, uh, Times Choice Supreme Kai, helps us finish our Baby combo and it's also, also playable for free off of our leader effect which is really cool. 
Moving on, um, I was talking, me and my buddy Josh were crafting this deck together, and we decided that uh, it'd be really cool since we're already playing very low to the ground with the baby coming out for basically two energy, that we would play this very swarmy engine uh, of the Super Sigma cards. So starting off, we have the four of one drop Mega Cannon Simba, uh, Sigma Nat, and what this guy does is when he's put into play, if your leader is Dr. Mew, choose up to one Bizu from your deck and add it to your hand. And then we're playing three Bizu. Um, we cut down from three, four to three for Bizu because Nat is playable for free, which gets us Bizu. But when you play your Bizu, Bizu gets your Ribbit, and then Ribbit gets your Nezi, and then Nezi's effect gets you another copy of Nat. Um, and then the also, uh, Commander Nezi also has this other effect. He's a three drop 15k. Union Absorb, choose one each of Bizu and Ribbit from your hand or battle area. Place them under this card. Choose one Super Sigma from your deck. Place it on top of this card. And then uh, auto when you play this card, and then like I said, he searches the Nat. And then moving on to Triple Union Super Sigma. This card is really cool. It's basically cheated out for a lower cost because of Nezi, but it also has very high impact. It's a double strike, uh, four drop, double strike, 20k. And uh, after you swing with it, you can place, or after you swing with it, you can use its activate main effect to place it from the, uh, place it in your drop area, draw two cards, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it loses 10k power for the duration of the turn. And if their power falls to zero, it is KO'd. So this engine is really cool. Uh, really, we're taking full advantage of Dr. Mew's effect to summon free cards. Nat can be summoned for free on your leader's front side. Sig uh, Ribbit and Bizu can both be summoned for free on your leader's backside. And what that allows you to do is continually get advantage out of your leader effect through the game instead of just being a kind of cheesy strat for you to cheat out this baby turn one and get this big boy turn two. It actually gives us a, a more longevity through the game because it'll constantly be cycling free cards to your hand as well as putting pressure on your opponent. Uh, going back through the order of the deck, we have after image technique. Uh, it's a counter attack. When your leader card is red, choose up to one of your cards and it gains 40k power for the duration of the battle. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gains minus 10k for the duration of the turn. Sparking 5, if you have 5 or more in the drop, you can activate the counter skill from hand by adding a card from your life to your hand instead of paying energy cost. Really super on theme with a lot of the power minus that this deck has. Very easy to clear big threats uh, from your opponent's board, even though this doesn't have any direct removal. You're able to just grind them down with all of these minuses that you can stack on top of them. Um, other than that, we're moving on. We have two planet M2. It's a field spell. When you play this card, uh, if your leader is Dr. Mew, draw one card. So M2 has been a very good tech card for dealing with one drops. Uh, over the past format, and the fact that we're playing a Dr. Mew leader allows us to draw an additional card on top of it. So not only is it a great field spell for uh, board control, but it's also a great field spell for a early turn play to cycle through more cards. Uh, continuing on, we have four copies of our super combo, Handy Jiro. Uh, Jiru. It's searchable off of Dr. Mew, uh, which makes it the ideal super combo for this deck. And then we also have two copies of Fearless Pan. This has a really cool interaction with all of our free cards, or all of our gadget-esque cards, our Nat, our Bizu, and our Ribbit. Um, when this card comes into play, it's a blocker barrier. Uh, you choose all of your other red leader cards and battle cards. They gain plus 5k and double strike for the duration of the turn. So what's really cool about this is that you get to play all of these guys essentially for free with your leader effect. And then if you drop a Fearless Pan, you can give your whole board double strike and you're basically cheating these out for low cost anyways so it's really easy way to put on a ton of double strike pressure and then on top of that we're also playing the baby package to just force your opponent to lose tons of cards and really not be able to keep pace with you and so uh, Fearless Pan is in here to give us that winning edge with all of the free cards that we generated and overall, I think this deck is very well situated for itself. It has a lot of synergy with itself, honestly. Um, the fact that you get to have an early game, like, big bomb <laughs> that can put on a ton of pressure. And then from there on, you can just control the board and slowly build up these free things. Slowly take away your opponent's cards. And every single card in this deck almost replaces itself. Uh, Supreme Kai replaces itself. Fu. All, every single card in this deck replaces itself, except for Pan. Uh, which is really fantastic. I mean, <laughs> really, it's a really solid tempo deck. Um, really takes a full advantage of, I think, all of the baby cards that we got right now. The biggest downside is that we can't play Revenge Death Ball with this leader, but the fact that we get to play the Super Sigma line, I think, kind of makes up for that. Um, I wish maybe we could play a third copy of the Pan, but as you guys can see, the deck space in here is very, very tight. Uh, hard to find room. 
to put <laughs> any cards in this deck because we're playing a very big baby line. We're playing a very big uh, Sigma line, which is cool. Uh, we opted not to play any copies of the Vegeta GT just because none of the Vegeta GTs were actually that good. They don't really do anything. Um, so we just figured that playing cards that would actually replace themselves and do things proactively throughout the game we're just a better option um, and if there are times where you see the baby turn two that's fantastic and if you have to play it turns three or four that's also really good because it doesn't take much to evolve up into it it barely takes any energy like it's a two energy play which is just actually insane um, for the amount of pressure that it can put on especially since every time your cards come out they're going to be drawing cards uh, like this guy down here or the the syrup the Super Baby 1 Parasitic Menace draws a card, your uh, Begrudgeable Baby draws a card, um, like they just all put on a ton of pressure and allow you to do things that I think previous versions of Baby struggled with, like it was, it's really cool seeing this list come together so well because before it, feel, it felt like Baby had a little bit of an identity crisis, like Grade 8 Baby is such a late turn play that it felt weird playing it with the Dr. Mew leader which is a very strong swarm leader because it allows you to put all these things on the board for free but the fact that we now have a way to lower our curve to the point where we can just put on massive amounts of pressure turns two three four just I think really really rounds out this list nicely um, and again all thanks to this boy right here super baby one the parasitic menace let me know what you guys think about this deck down in the comments below. If you guys haven't subscribed already, consider giving us a subscribe. Like the video if you liked it. And uh, tell me what you guys think of this new baby card. I mean, I think there's also other cool builds that you can do with like a uh, baby Vegeta leader. And he generates a little bit more advantage than this Dr. Mew. But uh, like I said, me and my buddy Josh, we were both... Uh, crafting this deck together and we like the idea that you could put the big baby on the board turn two or turn three and then just swarm super hard with machine mutants for the rest of the game um, it really feels like the baby deck has finally hit its like stride in terms of playability so it's going to be really cool to see this deck take off once this card is officially released and i've been logan here with crossworld tcg i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time